The next thing we're going to do is actually to create the color first before we continue our measurement. So let's create another collection, just call it fabric, and let's hide the model. And in here, we're going to create our fabric, right? It's basically a plane, right? And then we're going to make it one meter by one meter. And we're going to freeze the scale and we're going to subdivide it 99 times so that uh, oh, it's a good idea to turn on the statistics so you can see uh, how many faces and all that information. So we got by subdividing 99 times, you will get 100 faces horizontally and 100 faces uh, vertically. So it's basically one meter and one meter there is 100 centimeters. So just like what we did in the original version, we're gonna do we're gonna divide the fabric by a centimeters division. So yes, now let's delete a half of that so we can apply our mirror modifier, right? So yeah, so this is our fabric plane. So let's just call it fabric. And we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna create our color, right? So we can just delete this. And for our color, oh, I kind of forget. So first we're gonna have to take a little bit of measurement and it's gonna be quick. And we just have to just use the measure it, use the, use the letter and do segment and gonna read the number and our color circumference is a 39.85 we're gonna round it up to 40 right so uh let's rehide it again and yeah let's do and 40 divided by 2 is basically 22 so hey sorry 20 and we can we can cut the rest basically right so this one to that one is 20. So that is the circumference. And for the height, uh, depending on the model actually, right? You can make it, you can make the, the, the color a little bit tall or a little bit short, depending on the model. If the model has a long neck, make it a little bit longer. If the, the model has a shorter neck, you can make it a little bit shorter. In this case, the model seems to be uh, having like kind of a long neck. It's not too long, but it's a little bit longer uh, spectrum in a longer spectrum. So we're gonna create uh, the width of the color to be four uh, centimeter, right? So yeah, let's do four, right? there and we can just be we can cut everything here and this is then our color so the next thing is we're gonna round the the edge because as you can see that outside has that curve uh, color right as you can see from also from our example there you go, you got that curve, right? They're not straight like that. So let's make a curve. Let's create another uh, collection and just call it curve. In this curve, we're gonna create a Bezier and we're gonna have, we basically just have to snap it to right there. Oh vertex and snap it there right now so here's the easiest way to create a beautiful curve here so this is four just make it four and this one put it on the eighth one two three four five six seven eight right and we're gonna put it there so this one and that one meets in this point right so next is we're gonna scale it down but by using individual origins until it looks great basically so 
I think a half is a good number, right? It creates this beautiful curve. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's it. Now let's call it color curve. And now let's call it color, this one. And we're gonna, uh, nice project. Sorry, you have to select the curve first and nice project, voila. Now we've got a beautiful curve on our uh, color, right? So yeah, now we just have to delete all the faces and you can clean this up basically um, just to create a little bit more a cleaner um, thing, this small thing as well, right? Okay, miss this one, and yeah, you can get a clean this too, right? Let's just gonna do it real quick, and voila, this is our color. So, right now, let's bring it, let's just first duplicate it, right? And then we're gonna bring this up to our uh, color measurement here, right? So just to be to make it a little bit faster, you can make it snap the cursor and then this one snap selection to cursor. So voila, you don't have to move it around and guess where it is. And inside edit mode, you just have to make it straight to the top, right? Rotate it. And also now, because you see it's, the neck, as I've explained, uh, is a little bit angled, so you can actually angle this with the same rotation as this one. You can use 15, centimeter, 15 degrees, and that's great. Right, now we have to, you know, shape, right, our color. So this is a little bit tedious. If you've watched my previous, uh, my previous, uh, the original series, uh, you will know that this is actually the, one of the most tedious process there is, and that's okay because, yeah. Now, if you think this, you know what we were doing here, uh, you can just skip over this part, and yeah. Okay, let's just do it brick by brick. And do that. Okay, do that. Okay, almost halfway there. Okay. Sorry if I have my kind of a if my microphone picks up the the keyboard sound uh the thing is i'm using a blue switch on my keyboard so it's kind of a, a little bit clicky and so yeah so now i think it's 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 done it's it's enough there and now we just have to apply uh, a cloth modifier to the color right just a simple modifier and for the color we're gonna use a, a kind of a because color is a harder material right a stiffer material so we're gonna use uh, not use cotton we're gonna use something like leather and I'm just gonna put the, the, the number that I have explained in the original version uh, this number may not seem like anything but this is the magic number basically so you just put the number there and yeah now that seems like a good number and we can just apply that and let's oh sorry first you have to apply the mirror and before that let's duplicate it again and now apply the mirror because you have to sorry oh okay now you have to 
this thing, right? Connect the left and the right. You cannot do that with the mirror modifier. So now that it's done, we can just run the simulation and there we go. We've got a beautiful color right there. So we can apply this as a shape key. You don't have to apply it right now. You just have to make it the shape key out of that. So now we've got the color. However, you might be, some of you might point out that, well, uh, the color is actually the last part that we created in the original version. So why color is the first in this revisit version? Well, the thing is, uh, if you notice, this is something that I haven't really pointed out, but actually one of the other difference of a cheapow and outside is because outside use this thing called raglan uh, sleeve, right? where the arm panel is connected right to the collar. Meanwhile, the chi pao, if you notice, it's not. It, it used a, a traditional uh, thing, right? Where the arm panel connects to the body part. So with the Raglan style clothing, the collar is where everything connects, right? The body connects to the collar, and then the arm connects to the collar as well. Meanwhile, on, on the shirt, uh, basically the body is the middle point because the collar connects to the body, and then the arm connects to the body as well. Meanwhile, in the Raglan, it's the other way around. The collar is the centerpiece. So that's why we created the collar first. So, the thing is, uh, I'm going to use this newly created color to add a few extra measurements. And yeah, so let's hide the model so we can see it a little bit clearer. And we're going to also hide this uh, neck measurement. So also that's just kind of easier to, to see. And now we are ready to make the first thing uh, that we, we're going to do with the color, and that's it's called the color profile. And so here's the thing. It's kind of a complicated thing to explain. So instead of putting the numbers in like notepad, I think I'm just going to uh, put it inside Photoshop later, and then we're going to add the number there so that you can see uh, what we are creating. However, for now, let's create this color profile first. So to do that, uh, we're gonna have to uh, have a stick, which we can use this actually, the shoulder length. We can just duplicate it and then we're gonna rename it with uh, something like color profile, sorry. And anyway, I think I think my my shortcut is turned off. So let's uh, this again. So anyway, to to rename the stuff, you just have to press F two. It's just to make it a little bit faster. Uh, and yeah, now let's hide our uh, shoulder. Uh, yeah, not shoulder, I guess. Uh, is it shoulder? Um, no, not the shoulder, uh, the shoulder length. Yeah, now, so that when we select that, we, we only select these, the color profile. So, uh, what we're going to do with the color profile is actually to decide. So, let's bring a Photoshop. And then, uh, so, this is our, so this is the middle point, right? And then this is our color. This is from the... Uh, the top view anyway so that is our color right and then this is our shoulder measurement right shoulder and the thing is uh, we're gonna have to decide which of this color is actually the front part and which is the back part you see uh, in this case the back part is basically 
from anything that includes from the shoulder point. So this is uh, the back part and this is the, the front part, right? So uh, we, this is the front and this is the back and we have to decide out of, remember that the circumference of our collar is like 40 centimeters. So out of this 40 centimeters divided by two is the 20. Out of this, this uh, 20 centimeters, how many of those are the back part and how many of those are the front part? And that's the first thing that we have to figure out. So to do that, uh, yeah, we can actually use our sh this thing, right? And yeah, so this is our collar, and let's let's remember. Let's show. I'm gonna show you that this is twenty, right? So out of these 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 twenty faces or edges in this case, uh, how many of those are the back, and how many of those are the front? So the thing is, this is our shoulder uh, length, and this is our collar, right? So if you see it from the, the side view, you would notice that these two vertex or vertices, uh, the plural noun for it, uh, is kind of a, so this is the, again, this is the, the shoulder length. So, so if you just pull this up just a little, right? No, sorry. If you pull this up to the top, you would see that uh, the, the shoulder kind of uh, intersects between these uh, two vertices or this edge. So this is actually kind of a, one of those things that we have to decide because remember that we, we, can't, we shouldn't do like decimals. So we should be really choose how many in this thing that we're gonna choose right so for example this is uh, like 20 so because this is kind of in the middle you can choose to do something like this this is the back and then this is the front or you can do the other way around you can just include this to the front and that is 13 for the front and then you go to 7 for the back so that is a decision that you should make. Uh, for me, I think I'm gonna go with 12, something like that, instead of 13 for the front, because uh, it seems to me that 12 and eight uh, seems like a good or a better number because 12 and eight is like two thirds. Meanwhile, you know, like 13 and seven, both are kind of odd number which is not the thing that I very much fond of. So yeah, that's that's the first thing we're gonna do. So to make it a little bit uh, easier to see, let's color code it instead. So for the neck, uh, let's create our, um, what's this called again? Uh, new material and let's call it color uh, back and also color color front right so for the color back let's just just collapse this as far as we need which is only need the the viewport display and yeah something like that so the back is already red so we just have to include the the front which is this 12 thing and we're gonna assign it there same thing here 12 and there so let's um okay now let's put there Ta -da. now that's an easier thing to see isn't it so the green one is the front and then the the red one is the back part of the color so back to the measurement uh the thing that we're gonna do so let's bring this to the uh the original place because we've moved it before and let's hide it again 
And now the thing that we have to do is to actually measure, sorry, uh, we're gonna have to measure these two points, how far away these vertices are. And we can just do it kind of e easily with this and we can just snap it there and there. There we go. Now we have a good uh, measurement there, the horizontal measurement. So the next is actually, we're gonna subdivide it. And this one is the horizontal measurement. So the next one is actually the vertical measurements. And the vertical, you just go extrude this to the back, to the middle of the back, and another one to the middle at the front. So that is our vertical, right? So yeah, this is actually the first iteration that we should do. Anyway, just make it, uh, I'm gonna snap the origin to the cursor. So that is the thing. And yeah, that is actually the thing that we're gonna do. So that is, we got the horizontal and we got the vertical and let's see its measurements. Uh, go to view and just seg segment and you can use this show to see what's going on there and yeah now that is yeah that's a good uh, view so let's go back to photoshop and let's duplicate it and yeah now let's decrease the opacity now so the vertical Oh no, the, the horizontal here is, let's see, we've got 6.5. So 6.5, we're gonna make it uh, just seven, right? Uh, because uh, in this case, we don't really have to deal with the decimals. And yeah, and then this thing uh, the back and then the front we've got 3.5 and 8.2 so let's uh, add it and this is gonna be here so let's create a straight line there there and there so this is gonna be 4 and then that is gonna be 8 right so that's the first thing. The second thing is to, first we have to figure out, now let's move on from the measurement and then go back to this, uh, our color. And we have to figure out that, remember that, uh, sorry, remember that in the Raglan shirt, in the Raglan style shirt, if you notice that because the Raglan, it means that the, the, the arm connects to the collar. So the, both the front panel, which is this one, uh, and then the back, it's not actually connects with one another. So there is gonna be a part in the collar that is gonna be the cut landmark or the cut mark for the, the front and then the back panel, right? So, because usually in the shirt, it's gonna be right in the middle here, right? So you only have like the front and the back part of the collar, just like what we've already did here. So we've got the front, we've got the back, and that is how you do the shirt. However, because this is the uh, using a Raglan style uh, piece of clothing, so, Actually, we have another extra side to it, and that is the side, that is the side, uh, what is it called again? So we've got the front, we've got the back, and we also should have the side part of the color. So, yeah, now, so we're gonna add another uh, material and just call it side, color side, right? So let's see, um, let's see our model, right there. 
So we're gonna cut our front and the back panel and it seems to me that, so this is actually a personal choice. You can make it really short here. So you have like a very close uh, thing, but from the images that I've seen, a lot, I've seen over outside is actually somewhere around here, I guess, right? This is where the cut should be. So if we bring the annotation, right? Let's make another one. And then if we create, uh, so the Reckland gonna, the front panel is gonna be that, right? Which is kind of good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one, something like that. So that is how six centimeters gonna look like in this model. Because if you make it like a too short, something like, like, four or three it's gonna be a little bit too narrow i think so six is a good number meanwhile if you go overboard to something like eight it's gonna be way too uh much i think so um yeah now let's erase the thing now okay now six seems like a good number for me uh of course it's gonna be different for each model so you should figure out which is the best for your model. So uh, the six for the front and also actually six for the back, that's gonna be much easier to remember instead of having a separate front and back. Uh, so we've got six and six, right? And then the remaining of it is gonna be eight because six and six is 12 and our half circumference of the color is 20. Uh, 12 and 20 and you get 8 so that's gonna be 8 right so let's go back to our here and this is 6 hide our annotation and sorry this is 6 and so here's the thing since our back and front circumference is kind of different the front is 12 and the back is 8 uh, so the side uh, panel of our color is have it's gonna have like a very different uh, present presentation I guess because now if we take away the six the front part is gonna get six centimeters of side panel meanwhile the back one because there's only a they're gonna only have like two right so uh, that's okay because in this uh, revisit version we're gonna we're gonna create a different arm side before in the, in the, in the shirt uh, we create exactly the same the front and the back now we can make it uh, a little bit different so yeah that's actually an okay thing so yes that's just something have to, we have to remember and let's instead of changing the entire thing we're gonna create something like that one two three four five six so starting from there and we're gonna just create a, this there and one two three four five six one two three four five six there uh, a lot sign and it's gonna be here and here right so we've got a back six and then another six. So that is gonna be our, uh, so this is gonna be our side and it's, it's totaling at eight centimeters, which is the correct version. So that is our color, an extra addition to our color. So we have to also measure that with this uh, color, color profile. And so let's just, uh, hide it for now and we can actually rework this one last time so we're gonna subdivide it and just just like the last time we do this thing we're just gonna extrude it and snap it there and extrude it and snap it there and and then we're gonna have to you know like 
recenter this. So to do that, you can use uh, the 3D cursor for that. And, and yeah. Now this one too, we can extrude and snap. Uh, make sure that you snap to the right point though, because uh, yeah, there. So that's looking good, right? Okay, now we just have to recenter this. Same technique, uh, cursor to select that, selection to cursor. Now we've got that, right? So now let's redo the entire thing. So the first one is to check, to actually check whether or not this thing remains the same. I think the, the, the vertical, the horizontal will be, same, will be the same because it's kind of unchanged. Meanwhile, this uh, vertical line is kind of a little bit edited because we kind of uh, add these two points. So let's check if they stay the same. So this one is still 3.5 and we can make it four and which is still the same. If you see, we've got four and let's see for the front, whether they change or not. So now we've got uh, 8.4, right? And I don't know. So the thing is, it's very close to 0.5 and the thing is, I think I'm good. I'm just gonna make it nine, right? Because uh, if you show it, you would now notice that the separation between this, you've got 5.5 here and you've got three here. So instead of making this three and five, we should be making it three and six. And that makes like nine. So yeah. Let's do that. So uh, let's maybe just duplicate it and then let's remove this and then change it to something like nine, right? Now we have to also figure out because actually we have, we already have, we just have to uh, write it down, right? So this segment in the middle here is gonna be uh, so let's okay let's duplicate it again I think and we can now safely divide this thing into two section right so something like that and then something like that right so for the back we've got basically two and two right so you can just write two and two and that makes four and then for the front, you've got 3 and 5.5, which we're going to crank up to 6. So 3 and 6, uh, 3 and 6, and that makes uh, a good 9, which is the correct number. And also we have, that's, that's a vertical line. And the next one is actually doing this uh, horizontal line, right? So let's just show it up and we've got 5.5 and 5.18, right? So for the horizontal, so this is going to be an, an exception because I, it's kind of a thing that I figured that it's okay because for the reason that I'm going to say later, explain later, uh, for this to, it's okay to have a decimal. I guess uh, because uh, yeah so we're gonna recreate this line and we gotta just write 5.5 right and then um, yeah this one uh, because it's 5.18 we're gonna make uh, 5 because the thing is, uh, as you would see later, is that uh, this is very much a changeable and it's kind of adjustable uh, 
that we're going to do and explain later. So just keep in mind these number and we're going to, I'm going to explain everything later when we actually use it uh, on scene. So, okay, that is a good number. And the thing is, you would be saying that, okay, then that, that's, uh, that's 6.51, right? So I think it's going to be okay if you put 6.51. Point fifty one, and to be honest, yes, actually. Uh, however, for this one, because the thing is, this is kind of a little bit more important. So we're just gonna stick to round it up to seven. It's the seven for now. So yeah, that is uh, our color profile, and this is the entire thing about color profile. That is our first measurement, and the the other extra measurement is this. So let's show our model, and the, the next measurement is actually to measure from this point, this vertex, and then down to the bus line. So let's do that. So to make it a little bit faster, we can just extrude this right and then we take the position of our uh, nipples distance and snap the cursor there so we can just snap it there voila now we've got this line from the color to the bus line so from this thing so let's just separate it with selection so we've got this separate thing and we can name it color to bust right now from this we're gonna divide it again and this line here in the middle should be level with let's hide our model it should be in line or level with the most bottom the lowest part of the shoulder uh, circumference and the the lowest part of it is actually these two vertices right if you notice they are their z is the lowest and i think this is the lowest one right however it doesn't really matter it's just like zero zero point zero 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 nine so they are you can say that they are exactly the same. So we can just copy the Z value and then we're gonna copy that to this, right? And let's see, go back our model and we're gonna uh, push it to the front a little so that they're not buried under the skin. And yeah, that is it, to be honest. So that is our second uh, extra measurement and that is called color to bus. And let's, so, okay, now, for this one, I think I'm gonna include it with the, this thing, because uh, I think it's just gonna be easier to see, because this is, these two things is extra measurement. So, yeah. So let's delete all, and then segment everything. And we've got 15.3. And let's show it. So what is, okay, so that is the separation. That's gonna be eight and it's gonna be seven. So let's bring this right up and then let's draw our color, right? And then let's draw our bust. So that is the bust line and this one is gonna be, this is the armhole, right? This is the armhole. So that is gonna be in line with that. So this is gonna be seven and this is gonna be eight, right? Ta-da. So yeah, I guess that's it. That's the two extra measurements that we took. And now let's, wrap everything up and then just put it into notepad right 
So let's hide this and let's hide our model and let's bring back our uh, neck, I think, right? So because we have record this and that into our Photoshop uh, and, and then we're not going to put it into notepad, we just can hide it for now so it's a little bit clearer to see, bring back our shoulder length and then now we can just uh, segment everything here right so just to make it a little bit quicker right so we're gonna start with the neck we've done the neck obviously and we can segment everything right so uh, oh anyway if you haven't right like you know like apply the, the the shrink wrap now it's a good time for you to apply the shrink wrap before you actually segment uh, thing to measure it because if you haven't uh, they're not gonna do it correctly so yeah now just gonna select all and then segment everything right okay now that's it and then for this one segment segment and then segment don't forget this uh, nipples distance thing right and yeah that is all i guess so let's now bring our notepad and also bring my favorite uh pinning uh tab thing and right now we can just uh, start uh circumference we're gonna start uh doing or taking notes about everything so the first one uh, is the neck, which we already did, and the neck. So, so just to make it a little bit faster, I'm just going to round it up. So uh, right on the go, you can, I'm not going to write it down and then round, round it here on the notepad, just to make it a little bit faster. And then the bus is 76, uh, right? And then the waist is 58, right? 58. And for the, this, for the arm, let's see. Uh, for the shoulder, I mean. For the shoulder, we've got uh, 35. For the biceps, we've got uh, 27, right? And for the uh, elbow, we've got 11. And for the, sorry, for 22 centimeters. And for the wrist, we've got uh, 16. Now, for the length, right? Starting from the shoulder, right? The shoulder, we've got 30 centimeters. For the nipples, we've got uh, 18, 18 centimeters, and okay. Now for what's next? Oh, for the arm. So this is our arm length, and in total, it is uh, 45 centimeters, right? However, you would also need to take notes on the division of it, right? So from the shoulder to bicep, bicep to, uh, to elbow, and the elbow to uh, to the wrist. So, yeah. So let's see uh, shoulder, biceps. Okay, now for the, from the shoulder to biceps, it's five centimeters, sorry, six. And from the biceps to the elbow, it's 15 centimeters. And from the elbow to the wrist, it's 24. Now, let's see if they add up. 6, 15, and 6 and 15, it's 21. 21 plus 24, it's 45. And that is, and that checks up. And that is good. So, the next one is this dress length. So, in total, it's 137, right? And dress length it's 137 i'm gonna make it 138 and let's see 
uh, what we can group. So the thing is, uh, I'm just gonna delete it right now because we're gonna deal with first with the bust first, right? So the bus, uh, the division of the bus uh, from the shoulder to the bus is 23.5 and let's make it 24. And from the bus to the waist, it's gonna be 12. And from the waist to the bottom, uh, the flaps hem, it's gonna be 102, right? So let's check it out. 24 plus 12, 36, 36, 102, 138, and that checks out. So this is the, okay, now we've got seven, and then seven circumference, and then four uh, length, and that is great. So, yeah, I guess that's it, actually. And, yeah, let's save it, and then let's call it measurement. As you can see, I've actually done this, like, twice before. So, yeah. So, okay, now the, 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 the measurements is done. We can actually go... Oh, I think it's I think it's a good idea for now for uh, to, we, that we can do right now to actually process this number, uh, so that because next we're gonna do drafting, so it's better we have a finalized number. So for the neck, uh, we've already done that. We've got twenty centimeters. For the bust waist, uh, for the bust and waist, uh, we're gonna divide it by four, right? Because there's gonna be two sides and two sides, two front, front and back, and then left and right. So that makes a four uh, division. So seventy six divided by four. Uh, can we do that? Yes, we can. We got uh, something like eighteen, I guess. For forty plus thirty six. Yes, seventy six. And for the waist, waist is fifty eight. I don't think we can divide. Uh, 58 by 4 uh, and get uh, a round number right so because it's gonna be like 14.5 uh, centimeters right uh, and that is not a round number however this is where decision uh, comes again uh, your and my decision matters because uh, it very much depends on you you can make it smaller make it 14 but you can also make it bigger and make it 15. Uh, and for me, I think I'm gonna make it smaller because uh, because that is the, you know, like, because it's kind of, just like I mentioned that outside is uh, a form-fitting thing. So smaller is gonna be a little bit better than make it too big. So I'm gonna make it 14 uh, for the shoulder biceps elbow and wrist for this forearm thing we're gonna divide it by two and 35 divided by two you know you can do that and so we're gonna go for 80 uh yeah 18 because it's gonna be 36 and that's okay and for the biceps same uh we're gonna make it 14 uh because it's gonna be 13.5 so I'm going, I'm auto, uh, uh, auto divide it and round it, and yeah, eight centimeters. So this is the number for the length. We don't have to do anything with it, and oh, for the length, I think we have we got uh, fifteen, and for the nipples, uh, we've got nine centimeters. So that is uh, the thing for the length. This, the remaining two, we don't have to do anything with it. And yeah, let's save it. And this is our final uh, measurement. If you want to feast on this and then take a screenshot, this is a good time because it's nice and big right now. And we, we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the next uh, part, which is gonna be drafting body. Now I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm rearranging my, you know, my cue card here. Okay, now, 
let's go to the giraffe thing so let's minimize